Welcome to our weekend crypto proxies update video. So I'll cover all the stocks that I'm following and I'll update you on my portfolio as it has changed a little bit. First, let's talk about Soul Strategies, who reported on 14th of November 2024 the definite agreement for the acquisition of a high performance validator from Cogent Crypto. I'll share the details here. And after, we'll go to a spreadsheet to calculate the ratio market cap assets. It's a little tricky, but I did my best. I hope the calculations are okay. So on the 14th of November, 2024, so Strategies reported that it has entered in a definite agreement for the acquisition of four validators. And here's the detail. The acquisition would increase the amount of Solana, delegated to Sol Strategies own Solana validators to 948,804 Sol for a value of $285.8 million. All numbers here are in Canadian dollars. So that's a sizable increase of 699,012 Sol from what Sol Strategies had before. That's the first validator. And then the three other validators are one for SUI, one for Monad, and one for Arch blockchain. I only know of SUI blockchain, which is one of the coins that is competing with Solana. So that's pretty cool. The other two, I have less information on. I'll have to dig a little more on these two blockchains. But the value associated with the three validators is 181.4 million Canadian dollars. So this is a very, very big acquisition for Soul Strategies. It increased its Solana assets by a lot. So technically Soul Strategies acquired 78% of the Soul that I just stated and 100% interest on the validators for the SUI blockchain, Monad blockchain, and Arch blockchain. So what it's going to cost the company, so the company will pay 1 million US dollars and 1.162 million common shares of Soul Strategy at a value of $1.20 Canadian. And over the next three years, there's gonna is they're going to issue 18.592 million common shares at the same price of $1.20. The common shares that they're going to be given are subject to a statutory four month holding period once they are issued. So if they get the shares in November, they can only start trading in April, 2025. So that's pretty much what the company will pay for the assets in question. I'm gonna share a spreadsheet that defines now what asset the company has and also calculate what is going to be the new market cap once they issue all these shares for the next three years. So here is the spreadsheet for Soul Strategies assets. This was the situation as of the 25th of October, 2024 and now I put the date of the press release 14 of November 2024 I also updated the prices of Solana Bitcoin and Soul Strategies price as of the 16th of November 2024 keep in mind that all these numbers are in Canadian dollars so as you can see we went from 117,000 Seoul to almost a million sol right now. The price of Solana in Canadian dollars is that's a value of $225.75 million. There was no mention that they sold Bitcoin in the press release, so I kept that information the same 47.67 Bitcoin, but now the price jumped from 92000 to $127,000 in Canadian dollars. That's a value of $6 million. The three validators of SUI, Monad, and Arch have a value of 
181.4 million dollars the investments I did not change the cash I did not change but the liabilities I added the 1 million in USD plus the 80,000 here that we had before so that's 1.49 million in liabilities I added all that up and that's a total value of 414 million dollars so currently in my bro brokerage account I see that Soul Strategies has 146 million shares outstanding as they're going to issue 1 million 162,000 shares immediately for the purchase of these validators and 18,592,000 shares for the next three years. I added all that up so that eventually after three years we're going to have 165,928,000 shares outstanding and I put the price of today 16th of November 2024 1.33 and the total market cap of the company it's 220 million so now the valuation multiple here is the market cap divided by the value and that is 0 0.53 so we went from 7.68 to 0 0.53 which to me is amazing and it means that the company is undervalued in my opinion if the deal goes through and it's approved Solana's price has gone up Bitcoin price has gone up the validators has potentially gone up and they're gonna continue to go up in this bull run at least until the middle of 2025 so that's a great deal the price of the shares has corrected quite a bit and found a new base we will cover that when we look at the share price but according to these calculations we are below one which is very very good and that's why I increased my position in soul strategies throughout the last week not financial advice so now let's analyze the one hour chart for soul strategies like I indicated, the structure of the chart has evolved quite nicely. We seem to have a nice support at $1.10 after going as high as $2.32. So if you look at that, it's almost a 50% retracement. We are trading sideways in this type of flag type of structure. The MA50 is flat and the ME200 is catching up. So something will happen before the end of uh, the month of November. And as we saw in the calculation, I believe Soul Strategies is undervalued at this stage. If the deal goes through with the validators, also they have increased a lot the sole position that they have in validators potentially also stake so that means more rewards in the future and acceleration of generating passive income plus with the three other validators including the SUI blockchain that is performing quite well the coin has appreciated in value a lot recently so these are great assets to have within the company I believe that we could see a breakout here if we see a breakout and a retest so something like this a breakout and then a retest and a move up then this could be an extremely bullish signal for soul strategies so accumulation in this zone between 110 and 140 it's quite advantageous in my opinion not financial advice Obviously, if we break below the 110 and we break even the $1, this whole structure falls apart. But we're still in the bull run and we could have a nice push also from Bitcoin and Solana that could pull up Soul Strategies. Soul Strategy does not 
directly react when Solana moves, but eventually it will catch on and I hope that it'll react accordingly a little bit like MicroStrategy does, but even MicroStrategy sometimes does not react exactly as Bitcoin. But always look at Sol Strategies as a leverage play of Solana. So it could move faster upwards, but it could, it could also correct faster downward. So this is the daily chart. You see this flag type of pattern. We will see if we can break the structure. The MA50 on the daily chart is, com is coming towards the base here of 110. It's currently at 70 cents and catching up fast. So let's follow the stock, but the potential is there in my opinion. We just need to be patient and let Soul Strategies do its thing. Now let's move to MicroStrategy, who on November 11, 2024, reported another addition of Bitcoin to the balance sheet. So the company reported that during the period between October 20, 21st and November 10, acquired 27,200 Bitcoin for a cost of 2.03 billion US dollars at an average price of $74,463. And as of November 10th, 2024, the company now holds 279,420 Bitcoin. So this is the first 2 billion of the 2121 project from MicroStrategy that they want in three years to acquire $42 billion of Bitcoin. With this purchase now, they just need $40 billion more. So now let's go to the spreadsheet and calculate the ratio based on this new purchase of Bitcoin by MicroStrategy. So this is the spreadsheet to evaluate MicroStrategy assets. Keep in mind that this is a simplified version. I'm just looking at the amount of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin versus the current market cap of the company. It's a lot more complicated because they have either issue shares or they have borrowed money to acquire multiple purchases of Bitcoin. I will modify the share outstanding as I see them in my brokerage account. Once they update those numbers, I'll update it here in the spreadsheet. So we went from 226,500 Bitcoin to the amount of the press release on 11 on the 11th of November 2024 to 279,420 Bitcoin. The price in August 1st was 61,000. Now the price is $90,135. So now this amount of Bitcoin is equal to $25 billion. This is in USD. The market cap of the company is 202 million six hundred and forty four thousand shares at a price of three hundred and forty dollars and sixty five cents so it has a market cap of sixty nine billion dollars if you take the market cap divided by the value of bitcoin you get a ratio of two point seven four which is below five which i believe is quite attractive but this is the leading indicator, the best crypto Bitcoin proxy that we have in the market. It's a special company. So this is pretty much the reference ratio to compare to. As you saw with Soul Strategies, we are below one. So even more attractive for investors. But after this purchase, I purchased more shares of MicroStrategy, so I added to my position. And in my portfolio, the only two proxies that I currently have, well, technically three, three proxies that I have in my portfolio are 
MicroStrategy, SoulStrategy, and Tesla, which has a small portion of Bitcoin. Now, let's move to the chart. So here's the four hour chart of MicroStrategy. I selected the four hour chart because we see a little better the different dips for being able to buy cheaper shares. So you see here a dip here, another dip here, another dip here, same thing here, near this trend line, another one. Now we have accelerated the pace here of growth. But even in this case, we went up and then we corrected, found support, and now we're bouncing back again. So this is a nice entry point for MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is leading the crypto frenzy. They are developing all kinds of different financial vehicles to attract different crowds who want to invest in MicroStrategy. They are extremely intelligent in selecting the right time to issue shares or to raise cash to buy Bitcoin. And this will continue on for the next three years and it brings buy pressure for Bitcoin for the same period from one entity, and that's billion dollars. The second buyer of Bitcoin that we have seen is the nine most active ETFs in the US. Now also international ETFs are growing also their buying positions. And now we have started to see all kinds of corporations adding and planning to buy Bitcoin to add to their balance sheet. We have uh, our small crypto proxies that have been buying also. So we will see more and more entities going hard on Bitcoin. I think the state of Florida and Pennsylvania have reported also planning on adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. There's all kinds of rumors about Argentina and in the Middle East countries also purchasing more Bitcoin. So the buying pressure is intense and it that does it does not seem to stop especially in this period where we could see very quickly $100,000 per bitcoin and as in most assets the best publicity for an asset is price so if we get above $100,000 per bitcoin everybody will talk about it and more and more people will want to get this asset, even though they could have bought it cheaper. Some wait until Bitcoin will be a lot more expensive to get in. Everybody gets the right price to buy Bitcoin. So now quickly, we'll go over the other proxies that I have covered in the channel i'll just go over quickly for a fast chart analysis to conclude this video sometimes people don't believe in ta but sometimes the charts speak for themselves so this is the coinbase global daily chart ticker coin c-o-i-n and after we broke this very very important level of 280 we correct it, touch back to 80 and bounce back. Again, very, very bullish retracement for Coinbase. I do not have a position in Coinbase, but it's doing exactly what you want to see for a stock that wants to push upwards. Obviously, when we have Bitcoin going up in price, that promotes all kinds of trading on Coinbase that generates fees and that is going directly as profits for Coinbase. So bullish momentum for Coinbase Global. I personally do not have shares in Coinbase. One crypto proxy that exploded in price that is part of the NASDAQ is BTCS, ticker BTCS. This is the four hour chart. 
and as you see we went from a dollar fifty up to six dollars fourteen corrected back down to three seventy six and now we're trading above four dollars we could still have a retracement of about maybe three dollars or something like that if we take six dollars divided by two that's three dollars that would be a fifty percent retracement we could go back down as that level maybe but BTCS has performed extremely well but now is in a correction mode of profit taking by its investors I used to have a position in BTCS I do not have it anymore let's have a look now at Neptune digital assets this crypto proxy is trading sideways in this range of 90 cents and 110 it continues to do so now it's trading on the bottom part of that trading range MA50 is trying to catch up to the price we may see a little bit more consolidation but if you see a breakout above 110 here and if we go to 115 and correct back to 110 and push forward that could be a signal for the next push for Neptune digital asset I used to have a position in this proxy I do not have it anymore like I indicated I focus on the two that are more interesting for me a safer bet is micro strategy a more riskier one is soul strategies because of my conviction towards Solana and now SUI because now they have a SUI validator as part of their assets next one LQWD technologies this one also had a nice run-up in price consolidating now between $1.50 and $1.70 the MA50 on the 4-hour chart is catching up to the price so we could see a bounce again if we do if we see a breakout above 170 go to 180 and a retracement to 170 and push upwards then we are going much much higher for LQWD technologies if not we're gonna trade sideways if we break down we could correct further for LQWD technologies and finally big digital assets another small Canadian crypto proxy this one has been correcting also but way more variable between 18 cents and 23 cents now we see that the trend line is following the MA50 on the 4 hour chart it's trying to catch up here so we are now at 21 cents are we going to challenge again the 23 cent resistance level even the 24 cent resistance level we will have to see what will happen in the upcoming weeks for big digital assets I used to have a position on this one too but now I moved on to my main positions so I hope you enjoyed this video about proxies keep looking into them select the ones that you like I focus on two right now to be to avoid being too diluted and going hard on the two that I believe that have the best potential micro strategy as the original proxy for Bitcoin and soul strategies because it's special characteristics as they are trying to do the micro strategy strategy but using Solana see you all on the next one